All right, a 2013 Ford Escape. Uh, this is a 6F35. And the problem with this uh, is it was slipping very bad on the pullaway. Reverse seemed okay, but you put it in drive and you have to sit there for a while and then boom, it would eventually go into gear and, and, uh, and go. So we got the okay to pull it. Uh, this is an all wheel drive. And this one also has, just like, the 6F50, it has the sticker on it for the solenoid uh, strategy and the solenoid body ID. Uh, so we'll see what this thing uh, looks like inside. Uh, see, maybe we'll find something uh, like the forward piston uh, is, is uh, you know, maybe the molded rubber, something happened to it. Uh, it would be the one, two, three, four clutch, but Ford uh, calls this the forward calls it the forward clutch. All right, so there's really not much on the outside. This is where you fill it from here. Okay, here is your input speed sensor. And around this side, you have a little plug right by the axle, and that is the uh, check plug. So you gotta make sure the fluid runs out of there. All right, so I guess what we'll do is uh, We'll open this up, we'll start by taking the side cover down, getting the valve body out. And with this uh, 6F35, I think we're gonna find the uh, numbers, you know, that match, uh, I think etched in right in here. So let me get a little closer and we'll tear this down. All right, so we'll start by taking the side cover down. And we're going to get this uh, input speed sensor out of here. Okay, there's that. Okay, side cover. Extension here. So we're going to take the valve body off and unplug. Here is the range. Just come. 
right out. Okay, there's that. Took the uh, detent off already. Output speed sensor. Uh, right now, let's start getting these bolts out. Got a couple of different lengths. These bolts here are going to be longer. Let me just take one of these out. One of these out. So these are going to be a little longer. Okay, so we got one left, and then we got to just take this nut off the stud, and that should get the valve body. Okay. Alright, there's your valve body. I'm going to look for those uh, numbers here. Okay. All right, here is the plate. All right, now we're going to take out the output speed sensor. Okay, here's the output speed sensor. Uh, now we got a couple of seals here. The seal should be for the forward and low reverse clutch. Two K seals. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the bell housing off and take a look inside. All right. Just give me two minutes. I'll be right back. All right. So let's get the bell housing off. Okay, we got one more. All right, so let's see how easy 
the bell housing is going to come off. There's no gasket on this uh, like there is on like a 1640. Gonna, there's another dowel here. It's probably stuck on that dowel. This thing's uh, got some oil in it here. Let me just uh, see if I can get rid of some of this oil. Take this all apart, get a better angle kind of aiming down into the case here. All right, let me just switch, uh, uh, switch angles here. Give me one second. Okay, so now we'll move the sun gear out. That'll come right off here. Okay, then we have the chain and the sprockets. All right, so this whole thing here it's just going to lift right up. Okay, do it that way. Alright, ready? Got a bull bearing here. Get the chain out of here. Alright, now this is going to lift right up. And we have a washer here and a bearing. Let me grab that. right in here. All right now we've got to take, take this uh, I guess like this uh, baffle out here. This is 
to take this chain scoop out of here. Notice how the spring goes for the parking pole, but this will just pull right up. Okay, and we will take this out. And here is the uh, sun gear and hub for the uh, forward clutch or the one, two, three, four clutch with the bearings. Right there. All right, now we've got a big snap ring we got to take out. case here, which I've seen before, this broke. I think it's a very weak point. So what, I, what I'm going to do when I put the snap ring back is I'm just going to put the opening right there. All right, so we're going to need a couple of screwdrivers here. Second time I've seen that that happen to this case. But again, what I'll do is I'll put the opening to the snapping right here so this won't even affect it. Everything else is pretty solid. Okay, so this is the one, two, three, four clutch, so we gotta delay. Okay, these clutches aren't too bad. But we got a we got a big delay here, so want to look at that uh, clutch piston. All right, planetary gears. Bearing here. Another bearing. Right there. Sun gear bearing there. And now we'll take out the center support. Okay, so we've got the low reverse and we got forward on this side. Alright, so we're going to take that ring out and see what's going on there. I think what we're going to find is uh, probably a piston. I'm going to take these all these little seals out. Probably going to find the, the piston crack. I wonder if it has something to do with with this being the weak spot, and maybe this is coming up too high. Because uh, if this piston is cracked and a certain, you know, is broken, this is actually the second time I've seen this. Same, same issue. All right, another planet here. Okay, we got a bearing there. And then we have the sun gear. We're going to take out the low reverse clutch. And clutches don't look bad. And of course, here is the pressure plate. Okay. And we'll put these over here. Right, 
So now we're getting the spray out. This thing got straight. Let's try this again, see if we can lift this thing straight up. again. There we go. That'll be perfectly straight. We got a diode in here. Okay. And we'll take the hub out. And along with that is going to be the 26 clutch or as Ford would call it the intermediate. Alright so that's it there. And now coming out, got the 3-5 reverse, 4-5-6, or uh, what Ford would call it is direct and overdrive. All right, we're going to get steels here to the 2-6, and then what we have left in here is just the piston and the support for the drum, which we'll take out. But curious to see what's going on with this forward drum here. So let me just uh, put you guys on hold and get set up. And we'll take a look at this uh, forward drum. All right, I will be right back. All right, so let's see what we got here. Here's the uh, snap rings, the return spring. problem right here this thing completely tore off and that is the uh, that is the delay the good thing about this is um, the like the clutches you know with their you know, like the forward clutch is on in first, and you got the two six clutch. We know that's on in second and sixth. Boy, it calls it different names, but you know, it's kind of similar to a 1640. So, this piece of the case broke off, which again is no big deal because I'm just going to put the stack ring in that opening, and we found the problem here. Okay, so these are the uh, these two clutches, these are the one, two, three, four or forward clutch. Okay, here are the low reverse. Six, which uh, are a little burnt here, so they're going to be changed. All right, so here is the this drum. We got a bearing here. This has a very small snap ring in it, and I got to 
get that snap ring out to get these clutches out. So for that, I'm going to need a sharp scribe. Let's see if we can get that out. I can't even see this thing, it's so tiny. And I'm just trying to pull it away. <clears throat> Alright, let me just start this thing here. It's gonna be a while. Just give me one one second. the snap ring. That was about uh, probably another 10 minutes and I got it with this with this hook here, this kind of hook. You know I managed to get underneath it and hold it out and I get, took another scribe and, and, and pried it away from the edge. Okay so this will come out and this will come out the hub. And now this is the overdrive clutch. And we got a bearing here, bearing here, bearing here. All right, these clutches are a little black. So I'm gonna change those for sure. All right, now we have the 3-5 reverse. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta push down on this and get this snap ring out. So, I'm going to do that now and I will be back in a moment. Okay, here's the snap ring. Now this will come out. Okay. And then the piston. Okay, 
okay. This one's going there, return springs. And now, this, this is a little bit of, a, of an issue here, this new design. Because what you gotta actually do is squeeze the sap ring in to get it out, okay? So the thing, so the plate will drop down. Because the sap ring goes like in, there's a groove into this plate here. Squeeze it together and pull this thing up to get the snap ring in. Okay, these are also a little, you know, a little, little burnt here. Got a couple of burn marks on the steel, so I'm going to change these as well. So probably a banner kit will be good for this one. All right, so here is that uh, overdrive drum, four, five, six clutch drum. All right, now let's get Snap ring, we don't want to lose that. I'm going to put all this over here. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll take this oil baffle off here. We'll put that aside. seal here for the torque converter clutch which we're going to change in here and now let's get these bolts out and lift everything out with the filter front seal in. I got a lot of these bolts to take out here.
Okay. This looks good. All right, we got on the on the uh, uh, inner gear, the drive gear, we got the dot that faces up. Let's check this out here. Sometimes, I think it was this one I had to replace the pump on it. And the bushing looks good. Let's take the, uh, the sack ring out of the front seal here. Okay, there's that. And the seal should come right out. There we go. does come out and exposes the solenoids. You may be able to actually get these solenoids separate. But I would uh, I would think if anything gets replaced valve body wise, you probably should just do a reprogram because if there are already updates available, uh, they would be put in. I'm not really sure how honestly how Ford, this is my uh, second 6F35, and the first one I did was the video of the highlights and the valve body. This was the full teardown. Um, and I know this will come off, but how this is sold, because I didn't have to change it the last time, because honestly the same problem with the last one was the forward piston. It was cracked. But this is the valve body. Also on the other video that I did on the highlights, I did open the valve body on this. Okay, so you know what? Let's get the case back over here. And we're gonna take the 2.6 piston out, or the intermediate piston out, and the drum support. in here. Uh, I'll just take them out real quick. And that is the uh, drum support. I believe it's a T30. It is a T30. Let me get a longer extension. And there's rings on here that are going to be changed. Here's that, three bolts. The four rings are gonna be changed. All right, now let's get the piston out for the two six. Thing. So this will go back. 
you know, just kind of go, let's see here. So it's only got one way. We got a wide, got a wide uh, slot uh, finger here, and we got a wide slot here. So this can only go one way when this goes back together, which would be like that. actually only go in one way also because of this. All right, there's a wide slot in the case, and that's pretty much the only place that it, uh, that it can fit. So that will go, you know, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Just look for the, just look for it, and, and it's there. It's the widest one in the case. And, and then uh, there's also a wide slot here which of course, this will go and everything will line up on this uh, 226, or in intermediate. Uh, all right, I guess that's about it. So pretty much what I'm gonna do to this is we're gonna get a banner kit. We're gonna change all the banner kit will consist of the overhaul kit, you know, the, the um, rings. And, and, and seals and rubber gaskets and uh, you know and these seals also will come in the banner kit uh, all the molded pistons and all the, the clutches so I'm going to get one of those we'll get a converter this thing's got 2013 has got 100,000 miles on it and uh, that's about it well, it's not really a bad unit to do So I'm going to get the parts on order and get going on this because uh, we've uh, been a little busy. So we've had this car, uh, we just got it out. We had it for a week before we can even get the thing out. And this thing takes a long time to come out. All right, I guess that's about it. I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Uh, one more thing actually before we go. Let's take this out. Okay, so we have this, I want to watch this case up in the tank, and this has a roll pin. So I'm going to actually have to try to probably pull this roll pin out because I don't think there's enough room to knock this through. And if, I, if, I, if it doesn't go all the way through and it gets stuck up there, then I'm going to be in trouble. So I'm going to actually work on that, see what the easiest way to do this is, uh, to pull this roll pin out. On some of these, I think I was able to just, uh, well, that was on the 1640s, I think. I was able just to grind the case down a little bit and knock the pin through. But this one, I honestly don't think I'm going to have enough room, so I'm going to try to maybe get a vice grip on it and pull the pin out. But again, I'm going to play with this and see which is the easiest way without damaging anything. All right, so I guess that is about it for this. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next one. All right, so I got this snap ring out. I'm sorry, this roll pin out. Uh, so this should come right out now. So I can run this through the machine. What I actually did when this was in here, I first tried to grab it with the vice grip, okay, like this, and then use my seal puller, hook it up to the vice grip and bang it out, and it was just coming out. You know, the vice grip was just coming off and I flattened this end of the roll pin. So what I did was I took, I'm able to get behind it, you know, and I tried to pry it down, it wouldn't come down, so I was able to get with the bent part of the screwdriver, 
I was able to get around the back, and then I used the hammer, and I kind of hit it down in about three or four shots. You know, the pin, the pin had started to move. So once it started to move, I put, and I was able to get a little better grip, I put the vice grip further up, used the seal puller, boom, it came right out. It took about 15 minutes, 20, you know, about 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes, but I got it. So um, I can run us through the tank now. Here's the uh, uh, rain switch here, digital rain switch, which uh, probably got to just do over again. There wasn't any hope for that. We see what's going on with this unit. It's really not in that bad shape. And here is the uh, roll pin. And it has a smaller, you know, to start it, it's got a smaller um, end. Uh, you, you put that in first to, as a guide, I guess, and and then of course this is the other end because I flattened that out. But at least I got it. That was the main thing. Uh, all right, so I guess that's about it for this 2013 Ford Escape all-wheel drive 6F35. We found the forward piston uh, had come apart. Uh, you know, it um, probably came up. Uh, maybe a little too high, I don't know if it happened, maybe when that piece of case cracked, because that's where the end of the stack ring was. And then as it returned, it probably got stuck. You know, boom, and then it tore. Um, actually, out of the two of them that I did, this, this one has the same issue as I said. So, all right, so let me get going on this. Uh, thank you guys for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you next one.